Hello everybody, in our previous video, we introduced the multi polynode as one of the new features in DaVinci Resolve 19. During that discussion, we also touched on the polygon node. In my opinion, the multi polynode is an extension of the polygon node. Today, we are going to explore the polygon node from a different perspective. There are various instances where the polygon appears outside of the polygon node and the polygon node itself can be manipulated in numerous ways let's dive into different examples of how we can utilize the polygon in other contexts let's get started let us go to our davinci resolve 19 page we are going to be working with the adjustment clip okay so i'm going to click on adjustment clip and i'm going to drag it down to the timeline okay uh let's extend this it doesn't actually matter so we are going to be working on the fusion page so let the adjustment clip and we are going to head over to the fusion page before i get started with the examples that i have to show you guys let's first talk about the multi polynode just a little bit so the multi polynode is right here so if i select the multi polynode and add it here we could look at the multi polynode and we could look at the inspector we talked about how the inspector look a bit different from the regular polygon node okay so let me get the regular polygon node uh, okay so the regular polygon node needs a background okay so let me insert the background and let me insert it here okay so let me select the polygon node and this is how the polygon node looks like and this is how the multi polygon node looks like i talked about how it looks different but although this is new with the polygon node this idea is not actually new okay so this idea is actually on the paint node it's not the same but the ideas are the same when you actually use the paint node although the polygon node is more popular than the paint node but the paint node also have some of the things that the polygon node has as well okay let us go to the paint node okay so the paint node just like the polygon node and the multi poly node they do need a background to give them color okay so let's go to the paint node so we're gonna put the paint node to the viewer the paint node offers different strokes so this is the multi stroke okay so with the multi stroke you could change the characteristics after each stroke depending on how you want it so i could change the color after the last stroke i could change this to whatever color that I want and when I draw this the next stroke turns into a different color or a different size okay I could also increase the size and draw the next one that's how the multi-stroke works but the multi-stroke isn't what we are actually paying attention to so let's head back the stroke itself is what we are going to pay attention to because that's the one that acts like the multi poly node okay so what i mean by that is it behaves like layers as well so if i draw a line right now and if i go to the modifiers it creates stroke two simply means it's getting ready for stroke two okay so if i create another one it creates stroke three if i create another one it creates stroke four so these are layers so now each stroke have a different control so you could actually go back and customize them separately for stroke one i could customize it separately change the color this is the same idea with the polygon node as well talking about polygon let's go to stroke controls and we can play around with the line spacing here okay remember i talked about how polygon also appears in other places other than the polygon node so if i click on make editable click on stroke one now we could actually this turn into polygon lines as well so we could actually edit this just like the polygon nodes as you can see the lines are just like a polygon node and we got tiny lines so we could manipulate these okay just like we do with the polygon node We get all the polygon node tools. Okay, so we could click this on now and now we could create this just like the polygon node. Paint node and polygon node are kind of similar, even though they do offer some differences, which we are going to be talking about in a separate video. Let's move to another example. The next example is, let's delete all of this and we're going to create a separate buff here. We are going to bring a background here and let's put this to the polygon node and let's just get something else here okay 
let's say square let's put a rectangle to a background and let's change the background here to doesn't matter the color so let's just pick a color bright color okay let's pick this color okay so we're gonna make this a bit smaller okay this is gonna be for efficient sake let's say you do an animation in adjustment clip all right but you want to move that animation to another part of your workflow any animation that you put on the adjustment clip you could move to other parts of your work but let's say you did do that but your animation is not aligned in the side of the screen that you want it to be okay so you want the animation to be on a different part of the screen all right so let me show you instead of just talking let's start to animate this okay uh let's say from zero to i don't know so this is a this point we want it here okay so we animate this we move here and we move this here okay go here move this here go here move this here go here move this here Okay, so let's say this is the animation that you want. Okay, so let's say that's the animation, all right? And the animation is on the left side of your screen. So let's say, um, let's go back to the edit page. So let's say you got a clip, but you want that similar animation in another part of your video. So you could move this around. You know what? Let's copy this. Same animation, same everything and we go to this one but on this part of your video you want the entire animation to go to the right hand side you could redo the entire animation which is fine if you got the time to do it you already copied it so why redo the animation what we could do is we could go to the rectangular as you could see we could see these lines so these lines is actually a polygon so the easiest way to move this entire animations to the right hand side is simple when you select the rectangular node simply go to the screen and select the entire animation and move the entire animation to the right hand side boom boom and you got the same animation on the right hand side it's as simple as that that's moving the polygon to a different position but wait we got more another thing that we could do we could also edit these animation make it look different normally you could go to the spline and you could adjust the curves but you could also do some modifying in here as well okay so we could select this entire work here and we could go to the tools that we have here on top and we could click on smooth and it's going to turn everything into a smooth curve okay so now it's no longer going to move like a triangle it's going to move like a circle but in a smoother motion okay so let's do this right now and by the way these are the same way that you could modify or you could uh, adjust a polygon node okay so you could do the same with animation if you don't know now you know okay so let us head to the last example of how we could use the polygon node differently okay so this time around, I'm going to be using the polygon node itself, but we are going to manipulate this to do something else. Okay, so let's take this off. So I'm going to be using the perimeter. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get the perimeter. So if you're going to use this, you're also going to get the render. Okay, so let's connect this to the render. And this normally comes with a output mode of 3D, but there's no need because I'm just trying to make a simple example. So I'm going to go to 2D. Okay, so I'm going to head back to the parameter. So now with the parameter, okay, we get a lot of options here. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to be using the bitmap because the bitmap is where you could connect an alpha to the parameter. Okay, so I'm going to use bitmap because this is going to allow me to use the polygon node. I'm going to bring down poly node. So I'm going to connect the poly node to the parameter. And let's make this two viewer. Let's do the poly node to the one. So with this, I'm going to just draw something like this. Okay. So now let's turn this back into a single viewer. I'm going to head to the parameter and we're going to go to controls. Let's put the parameter render in the viewer. Okay, so let's remove the checkers. 
all right actually we also need to increase the borders as well the reason why we're not seeing it is because the borders is at zero so we're going to increase the borders just a little bit and when we increase the borders as you can see now you can see the parameters so let's head back here and let's play with this okay so those are too many numbers okay so they're simply following the line so we're going to decrease this just a little bit we decrease just a little bit and now they are following the line of the polygon node what we could do now is we could set this however you want it to be at this point it's just your style and whatever you want it to be okay so we could change the colors change the colors okay so color over lifespan we could always change these colors or we could add more colors okay so we could add let's say green here we could add more colors here and we could make this i don't know yellow all right so let's say this is what we want now we could go to the polygon node and we could animate this the position from here from 110 to let's say 300 all right okay so that's an interesting animation by the way this is just an example of how we could use the polygon node to animate the parameters in this case the better you get accustomed to the polygon node the better animation you will be able to accomplish okay guys so guys this is the three examples that i got for now all right and so guys if you like this video hit that like button if you learn something don't forget to subscribe and i will catch you on the next video.